In Sublime Text, you can see in the bottom right corner, before we save this file, it just says plain text. And so we can actually choose what type of syntax we want, and so it'll highlight it appropriately. And so we can just choose Python. And you can see it highlights the, the syntax um, as you'd expect for Python. So what we're going to do, we're going to save this file, but we want to first comment out the MATLAB and C versions of this function because they're not going to work. Okay, so you can use um, the pound sign, or I guess it's called a hashtag nowadays, to comment out in Python. You can also use a triple apostrophe, which will comment out blocks of code, like that. Um, and so it, that's good for commenting out huge chunks of code. So now we just have the test function that's not commented. So we're going to save this in our um, home directory. Or, and so we already have the hello.py file in there. And so I'm going to call this pytest.py. OK, and so now we have this file with just the test function in it. And so we can test this out. Uh, but before we get to that, I want to show you uh, important way to set up Sublime Text um, because we're, indentation is so important. So if we go to the View uh, menu and we go to Indentation, you can see you can set how, how wide you want your indentation. The one thing that you need to have checked is this indent using spaces. So I'm going to click that and so the next time I look I can see that the check mark is on near indent using spaces. And so that's important because otherwise it, it might try to indent using a tab character. And when you have a mix of tab characters and spaces, it just messes things up, and you might get some weird errors in your Python. So I just suggest that in Sublime Text, you make sure that that indent using space in this is on. OK, so let's try to go ahead and run this test function. And so we can run it in the Interactive Console by importing uh, the file. And so again, we just call this PyTest, so we can type import PyTest in our Interactive Console. And now we can run the test function, and we can give it the argument of 2, and it returns 2. I use the up arrow there, to, and so I can change it. Let's give an argument of 10. And so now that it doesn't equal 2, it returns 0, just like we expected in our function.